Well, this is probably the most difficult true combo I've made a tutorial on since the start of my channel, so I guess brace yourselves. I'll cover how to do it, talk about some setups, along with the limitations. With that said, let's get started. First off, there are two hitboxes in up air that we'll be using, the weaker one and the stronger one. We won't be needing the second hit, which knocks the opponent high up. I'll be using Sheik as an example here, and if you use another controller, just translate my inputs to your own buttons. I have my X and R map to jump, X to jump, R to footstool, because I find it much easier to do the combo this way. Without further ado, from 0%, what you want to do is short hop down air, then follow them with your double jump into a footstool. Cancel your footstool momentum with a float, which you do by holding your jump button and hitting down. Follow where they fall, then drop down with a sour spot neutral air to lock them. Wait for the force to get up, then do a fast fall up air right beside her. As fast as you can, jump on her head for a footstool, then immediately cancel your momentum with a float. Let go of your jump button to cancel the float, then instantly hit up air. As you see the rainbow come out, hit down to fast fall it. Footstool them as fast as possible, then rinse and repeat. Once she reaches about 65%, footstool into a floating down air, then double jump forward air. Certain characters will tumble after you footstool them. For example, with Mario, when you fast follow your up air, drop down close to the core of his body, footstool him, then cancel your momentum with a float as usual. They'll be in tumble animation, so drop down and lock them with the sour spot of your neutral air. As they're getting up, do a fast follow up air, then rinse and repeat. The opponent will most likely DI your footstool towards the edge of the stage, in which case, end the combo with something strong. I've left more details on each character in the description, so check that out if you want. At a glance, this combo looks very straightforward, but the truth is, both methods actually require close to frame-perfect inputs for it to be inescapable. As you can see here, the fastest she can pull out her shield is on frame 33 after Peach's up air connects. And over here, the fastest Peach can footstool Sheik is on frame 27 after the up air connects, meaning you only have a 5 frame window to land that footstool, or else it'll fail. It's even more strict with characters to have quick escape moves like Sonic's up B, in which case you only have about a 2 frame window. Basically, if you want to pull this off in a real match, it needs to be mastered, which takes a lot of practice. Anyways, now let's look at some setups. So far, we've only covered short hop down air to footstool. Another one is short hop down air, float forward a little, do an up air but cancel the second hit so the opponent falls down, then footstool and begin the combo. Down tilt is another move that can potentially be a setup, although this would require the opponent to miss their tech. If they do, you can follow their DI then footstool them into a neutral air lock, then begin the combo. A floating forward air at low percents can lead into a neutral air lock if they, again, miss their tech. Peach's turnips can also be a setup as well from a short hop down throw, then footstool. Now let's discuss limitations. First off, it doesn't work on every character. Some are simply too small. And against characters who don't tumble, well, the limit is the edge of the stage. Whether it leads to a kill will depend on where the combo starts. Either way, it's still huge damage output. Timing also varies a bit between characters. I suggest practicing in training mode, on 2 thirds or half speed before tackling it on normal. Well guys, that's all for this tutorial. Hope you found it helpful. With that said, I'll see you soon.